there are several reasons why we decided to focus on uh, timber and the governance of the timber industry for the exhibition at Cerm Tank Galleries. It was the first time where you know, a, uh, an institution was asking us to do a research project that should not be finalized in any really physical outcome. Of course, the exhibition presents physical outcomes, but that was not the first aim. And that led us like a very, um, let's say, freedom in exploring uh, how to visualize the research. It was for the, for the first time, at least for us, um, a very good exercise in uh, finding tools to, research, to, to show like historical research, to show the connection that we had with other practitioners. Design has always been a, uh, a, a field that synthesizes information from lots of different fields. And designers need to do this research because no one else is really doing it in the same way. Some of the stuff that you talk about um, in Canberra, some of the stuff you're doing, for example, the forensic examination of wood fibers in paper and references to DNA barcoding um, and this kind of thing. Um, it seems like there's almost a kind of a policing involved. And I'm mm -hmm. curious whether you see this as like a kind of a role that designers need to step into. It's more about uh, making everybody aware, but also us, that when we design something, it has an impact above all. It means that we should be, you know, much more careful in the way we discuss with companies. At least that, I mean, of course, we, we cannot have like so much influence in the production chain on or in the, um, um, how do you say, like um, on, the sourcing. on the sourcing of material. But then it means that we, if the company are not doing that, we should at least try and to ask the right question to the company. Everything that we address through our practice, it is never coming as an attempt to invent new roles for, for design. Rather, it comes from a simple observation of the interconnection that the design discipline uh, has. We must recognize that whatever we do, it means also being compliant with a system. I think one of the things that interests me about Cambio is that you're trying to demystify the industrial process processes of the of the wood industry and that mystification comes about because industry is very secretive um, they have business secrets that they want to protect um, intellectual property uh, within their supply chains and, and i guess that's that's an exciting thing about cambio because you start to tease out some of that kind of stuff uh, but i wanted to ask you did you feel that there was something that was insurmountable was there a challenge that you discovered in cambio or some information that you couldn't access with Cambio, we didn't really face this because in a way we are addressing the industry, yeah, looking it in its fragmentation and um, through the help of practitioners that generally are um, in a way challenging that reality. Like we work with activists, we work with a Tunan Institute that is doing the analysis. So actually we are doing, we are working with the people that are more doing the policing. You know, in bigger companies, the problem is that the responsibility is fragmented, so that nobody feels um, responsible. That's a secret too for capitalism. You fragment responsibility, so you make sure that whatever the fuck you do, you know, nobody is responsible. You never feel guilty. You know, it's it's also I, I think this kind of chain of working it's it's it was developed in colonialism. Responsibilities and problems so also interconnected and fragmented that it's not easy to say, okay, here is the knot where the problem is. It's a multitude of points. But especially for instance, when you look into more legislation, you know, we we were really studying, you know, the all the labeling, the FSC, the PFC, you know, like all those like labeling, they are controlling the the, um, the chain of like production uh, of uh, of timber, and then when you I mean, some are good, others are not so good. But then if you look into it, in any case, most of the time it's really the responsibility of governments that didn't do the right legislation. So in a way, what we discover with Cambio, it's, you know, things are much more nuanced and much more complex than what they look. And in a way, we wanted to show that with the exhibition.